G'day, my name's Wilfred West from Locksport, Victoria, Australia. Welcome to Locksport, the home of online gaming, wonderful views and Australian wildlife. I do hope you like these videos, if so please subscribe. G'day everyone, how you all going? My name's Wilfred West from Locksport, Victoria, Australia. And welcome back to an unboxing of the Zeus Tough Gaming X5 X570 Plus Wi-Fi motherboard. Now, this is the package that PC Case Gear like to send their stuff in. Like, pretty plain packaging. Which is fantastic, so I do like it. Now, I'll take it out of the car. Excuse me. I need upside down at the moment because I've got my address on the other side and I don't really want to show the world my address. Okay, so. I need another knife. <laughs> I will be back. <clears throat> okay, we're back. Next thing we'll be getting after later. I hopefully soon we'll get the um, CPU to go with this. Then we'll get the rest of the stuff out there. The memory and so forth. I like this thing. It's a thing I've got. I picked up this. Five bucks garage sale. Absolutely brilliant. So, so far the packaging I'm quite happy with PC case because they always cover it in black plastic. And then they put that something else into a box as well, which is good. And they like using these air fingers. So let's take this out, shall we? Wow. Oh. The first thing you notice when you pick this motherboard up, it's the weight factor of it. It is extremely heavy. I'm liking the top, I'm liking the logos and stuff like that there. Oops, oh, excuse me, noise there. Let's have a look at the back. Well, if we can, sorry, I'm not I'm not used to not looking at the camera at the same time. I'm liking this, it's quite nice. Um, I really like how it's all set up. Let's see if we can open it up and we'll go from there. Just basically take out the accessories and have a look what we come what comes with the motherboard itself. If we can, okay, it looks like we've got to take the motherboard out first. I'm not gonna spend too much time with this, we're just gonna have a quick look at it and put it back in its box. Um, I could put it into the um, case itself. I'll put the motherboard down here for the time being. I could put it into the case, but then of course I'm still waiting for a lot of other opponents. And it's just going to sit in the case and do nothing, really. So we'll just get everything out of the box. And we'll go from there. It's really well packaged. I'm going to have to say that. It's really well packaged. And we'll go for everything. solid even this has a bit of weight into it but I think a lot of I think the weight of the keyboard oh, I'm sorry the keyboard the weight of the motherboard is quite very heavy that's still fairly heavy but it's not as heavy as this of course now let's have a look at what we got in here first of all let's have a look at what we got here time to gear up here's your coupon for 20% off cable node cables Okay, it's got a thing on the back, I won't show you that. So that there is, excuse me, uh, enter your coupon code at the checkout. So if I ever bother to make cables and have cables and stuff like that, comes with these fancy looking uh, stickers. It's out like a boat. And I'll show you that. Come from 
of that as well. That could be interesting in the future, but yeah, I might have a look into that. And of course it comes with DB, CD, so I think um, the only problem is this build's not going to have a disk drive, uh, what's it called, like a normal CD-ROM or, or Blu-ray or anything like that. Um, certificate of Reality, Re Reliability, sorry my fault, Certificate of Reliability, Reliability, or Certificate, yeah, comes with that, which I'm not quite sure if you really need that in the packaging. Um, supposed to be uh, moisture resistant, vibration tested and stuff like that so just tells you what they've done done and all that then it comes up with quick start guide which is in multiple language of course um, it gives you a very basic overall and you set it all up and so forth like that so that's pretty much standard in a lot of motherboards you get these days. Um, so you can go down there and also we've got the user guide which comes into that which is this thing here is, a, is one thing you really want to read through before you even think about build, putting it together I've, I've found. Um, I like to prefer to read through the menu, I bring through the basically the user guide and as I'm putting before I put the PC together so I know as much information I can about that particular motherboard and so forth. But it gives you that information there as well so I'll put that over here. Now this must be that must be the Wi-Fi thing. So I'm not really I might, I don't know if I'll use it, but I might use it, I don't know. don't know why it's got a really little plastic thing, the triangle here, I don't know how it's... I'll read it all and we'll see how it all hooks up to the thing, because we can get it uh, up and running out here. I just have to get a monitor or something like that, or get the TV down, put up to the TV or something like that. And... And so forth. I don't know how that all works, so we'll work on that later. Uh, and what else will come in this bag? So that's not too bad. That must be plugging into somewhere, you've got two wires there, it could plug onto the keyboard itself. So, I'll move this out of the way. I'm still not quite sure what that's, this is going to be for, where you put it, or how you use it with the, with this. It's got me kind of stumped. Wait, you throw it in there now. Go into there, I don't know. How this is working? Maybe this is a dying list. That all might go into there, and that might go into there like that, or something like that. I don't know. This way, actually. So it might sit in there like that. I don't know. Slides in there, maybe. Oh yeah, could slide into there. And it's jammed. <laughs> I'll read it all, go through it all, and work it all out. And yeah. No, it's just weird. I don't know how that's going to work yet, so we'll work all this out later. Um, what else have we got in here? Uh, that's interesting. It's only got like two silvers. I think these are for the things that go onto the motherboard itself. The, the two M20s, I believe they are. Yeah, the, um, sorry, I'm sorry, M20, not M20, the, um, M point, what is it, 2 point M or M point 2 um, SSD drives so that go onto there. I believe that's what we call it, or M point 2, I'm not quite sure exactly the name of them, but, oh yeah, simply 2K, 2, 2K 
cables for you to uh, drive. I'm pretty much going to make this SSD before. I'm going to make this a SSD eventually um, only computer because it's pretty much going to be for gaming and gaming only. I don't want it for anything else. Um, but we'll go from there. Each step will take. We'll work out what we want to put onto it and how you want to put it. If I start running out of room for games, I'll get more another SSD drive and so forth. Rinse and repeat pencil. Uh, so let's have a look at the IO uh, the shield. I really would like there's some motherboards actually producing these on them. Okay, let's get the right way. So there we go, that's all the things you need to know about that. It's quite good. Now, let's put this down there. A bit of rubbish. Now Let's have a look at the motherboard itself. That's a four, that's a very heavy motherboard. I've been wanting to upgrade my PC for a long time. There we go. Here is the motherboard and it's glory. I'm going to be very careful not to drop. Okay, I think it's yeah, this spot here and underneath here. That's where the two drives will go into the two M M.2 drives, I think it's called. Um, I'm liking the logo here. Um, pretty much just looking all mostly normal on the motherboard. I know how that what I'm going to be putting into there eventually. So I'm not going to be playing around with it too much. I'm just going to go back in its bag. That's all the ports you get for it. Um, I think this must be for the for the Wi-Fi part, which is interesting. Let's see up there. That must be for the Wi-Fi part. I have to admit, I'm liking it. It's very heavy. It's going to be a nice build to do. Um, yeah, I, I can't wait to look at the rest of the parts. <laughs> But that's enough of that one. I'll put that down there. I don't want to... That is one beautiful, beautiful, absolutely beautiful motherboards. It's not one of the most expensive ones out there, but I wanted one for gaming. Um, specific purpose is only for gaming, and that's it. So that's what she looks like in all its glory. I like the colour scheme, which is black and yellow. Um, yeah, and we'll go from there as we use this before. We'll have a look at um, what next we're going to purchase and we'll do an unboxing of that. And eventually, when I get all the pieces, I'll be doing a build video from start to finish. Everything will be going to the computer all in one hit. Anyway, thank you again for watching. Um, my name's Wolfred West from Luxport, Victoria, Australia, signing off. Thank you again for watching my videos and all comments are welcome. You all have a great day now.